welcome back to Raccoon Tweeties. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, before we start, uh, one more shout out. Thanks again to Brendan Walsh. That was very funny that you got Gerard- you secretly got Gerardo <laughs> a Brendan Schaub t-shirt. Hell yeah. And he did a reveal on the uh, 10 Minutes of Schaub. To give you a, a eye behind the camera, we actually had uh, a real segment where I didn't know <laughs> in the 10 Minutes of Schaub, but the audio didn't record, so we had to reenact it. Yeah. I just want people to know because I think that's funny. Yeah. They're not, 10 minutes of shop people are going to have no idea. <laughs> but, you know, the real listeners are Raccoon Tweety. This the is people, BTS for 10 yeah, minutes of shop. The people tuning in because yeah. they want to hear flappers jokes. <laughs> they want to see a Luke Schwartz shout out. Those people. <laughs> they, I respect you listen a little bit more than the, the shop fans. But World Record Podcast, I listen to a few episodes Great show, funny pranks and uh, prank phone calls, and it's a good show, so check oh, it yeah. out. Um, all right, well, t- on today's episode, we have a guest, Caitlin Jeffers. There she is. She, if you watch the 10 Minutes of Shop thing, you, she's the woman that we kept saying is Annie Letterman because <laughs> we didn't let her be on camera. <laughs> That's something you got to earn, yeah. you know? <laughs> you can't just get 5,000 no viewers. No <laughs> What's yeah. that? Yeah. No camera, no mic. No camera, no mic, but <laughs> I had to step in as the executive producer <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> she helped out the show. I botched a few things. We got some facts from Kaylin. Kaylin is a producer by trade, you know, script coordinator, writer's assistant. So she's, you know... A good person to have when you're trying to, you know, make fun of uh, Shab and get <laughs> references correct. So, <laughs> yeah. thank you, Caitlin, for doing that. Um, how has your How's your week been? Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it just started. Right? That's true. It is only we Monday. Apocalypto right. yesterday. Yeah, the, your you show. <laughs> but you, <do> you, <laughs> I didn't go. I saw Nope instead. <laughs> but um, so I, her show, I said Nope, <laughs> and then I went to see Nope. <laughs> Uh, but it was a great lineup, and uh, it went very well. Yeah, it, it went did. great. We'll probably yeah. keep doing and it. And you're going to keep doing it, right? Yeah. You don't like know it. the day, but it will be a weekly show. No, a monthly. A monthly show at Permanent Records, right? Correct, in Los Angeles. Okay, so check that out. Look up Caitlin Jeffers online. She'll be posting about that. Actually, you don't even post on Instagram. You have your own apocalypto yeah, thing. Yeah, apocalypto show. On Instagram. You have a curated Instagram with seven pictures on it. <laughs> My personal one, Your yeah. Your personal it has one, has nine. Yeah. You don't want people to follow you. I want people do? to follow me. But okay. I'm doing, I'm trying to appear young. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I see people do that and it seems like a good idea. Mine is just a lot of embarrassing uh, pictures. So. That was, yeah, my Instagram is so old that I had, like, I was truly using it, like, to do instant jokes, uh-huh. like, visual jokes. And so it. At a certain point, I had like a thousand just like bullshit pictures of food and dumb signs yeah. and stuff from like. I'm sure it was great, but you, and you know, anyways, it's probably good to post less because, as we've learned this week, posting anything online is dangerous. Yes, it okay? will get you arrested. It can get you arrested <laughs> in Virginia. It can do a lot of things. Okay, this is, some. This is part three. So yeah, sometimes mm-hmm. people tell you to not post, and then the cops show up at your house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And arrest you for doing TikToks. Okay? The cops are like, we've been watching your live. The Fairfax Police Department, as we know very well, is full of pedophiles. <laughs> and for some reason, these pedophiles, this is, um, I'm Alleged. not being serious. <laughs> this is what, parody or whatever. Yeah. Um, sarcasm. sarcasm. So That's funny. There was an insurrection happening and they were just on TikTok. Speaking <laughs> of January 6th, post. the leader of January 6th herself, Coco Briscoe. <laughs> 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 no, I've watched her, the Coco's TikTok and all a little bit, and she seems to be very left leaning, which is okay with us, I you know. I mean, the, he's a J- Kaylin just spit water all over her face. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. I'm no being clue. attacked already. Oh my god, Code Red, she's in the house. Coco Briscoe is in the house. All right, so we'll give backstory and then maybe play the video. I guess. Do you yeah. still have the video of Coco? I'm going to, I'll find it right now. You can find, yeah. So basically what happened is I got a text from, I think the first person was Gerardo. Yeah. I think it was. Was it you then? You're the first person? Yeah, I sent you. So what did you send me? I don't remember. Oh, recently. No, no. I'm talking about when I found out that she posted I sent that to you. I sent you the article. And I was like, you got to talk about this on the show. No, no, that's the original thing. Okay, yeah. all right, so I'll give, that's, right, you're right. All right, well, nobody docks me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to yeah, admit that. You're right, I you're am right. the executive producer. I forgot, <laughs> going all, sorry if you're watching this and getting confused, but going all the way to the beginning, yeah. the first mm. person for sure to tell me about Coco Briscoe <laughs> was Caitlin. She sent me, she sent me the clips because 
to give even more backstory, it's crazy. I'll, if you watch me at all, you know I constantly am talking about flappers and making fun of flappers. Yeah. So she saw that this flapper, former flappers waitress had moved to Virginia and was now a TikTok star. Right. But on top of that, the place that she, that she went to in Virginia, Arlington, is my hometown. Yeah. I grew up <laughs> in Arlington, Virginia. You didn't even know that. Right. But that's such a, like a huge coincidence to give to somebody, a man with a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we get I'm An so tired. An white guy? Yeah, I'm so oh, tired. Really? Oh, really? A red flag. He's oh, a podcast. Really, Men shouldn't really, be dude? given microphones. <laughs> well, I have one. So, whatever. Um, but, no, I mean- it's about so time we silenced the men. <laughs> yeah, you're silencing some, you know, in some states I'm considered albino, so. But, uh, I, in some parts of Ireland, you're a minority. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even too white for Ireland. That's going to be my album title, too white, too white for Ireland. But so anyways, how could I not talk about this? All I talk about is flappers and this person moved to my hometown and they're a famous TikTok and they're literally saying this person, Coco, is saying that they are arrested for doing TikToks. So fascinating, right? Yeah. I didn't even necessarily go into it thinking that there's no chance that she's not telling the truth, you know? Right. It's just me and Gerardo, we played her clips on the show. <laughs> and and she comes off as like unhinged, like, uh, kind of like an unhinged lunatic, right? Yes. Yeah. If you watch all the clips, now I'm not saying that everybody has the same power of perception that me and Gerardo and Caitlin have. <laughs> yeah. Some, a lot of fans have missed the signs <laughs> that this woman is a little Some people are there. themselves unhinged lunatics. <laughs> yeah, she may. I'll, some of the people watching, <laughs> you know, the, by comments alone, seem a little crazy. Shout out Drone Adventures. So Drone Adventures is our guy. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. Look, uh, we want we want people like that on our side. Yeah, who's so, drone in no way is this an attack at Drone Adventures. We love that guy. Who's that? Yeah, he He's, comments. He every comments video. on the shop videos. Does he comment um, on the raccoon? I don't even know, but I just I, I love does. reading his comments. I <laughs> look too. forward to. It. He's so supportive. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that guy. I'm just like you know, in our darkest hour, we know that at least Drone Adventures will not be against us. <laughs> yeah. If he turns against me, it's going to be a tough week. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so we did a show. We had a good time doing it. It was funny. So we did a second show. Right. And we never mentioned it again. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. We met months ago. We even were a little worried when we did it because we didn't want to, like, really bully anybody. Yeah. And we also were a little bit afraid of that Dinesh guy. I was going to say, you didn't want to draw the ire of Dinesh. Yeah, Dinesh. And, you know, I don't know him. But just watching that one video, I was like, this is, seems very mean-spirited. Yeah. yeah. Now, granted, I don't like people who are rude and racist in public and treat uh, service workers like shit, and they should face some consequences. But the way Dinesh was, like, doing it, it just felt, you know, bad in my stomach. Dude, now, I, I told you I looked further into Dinesh, and he's a fucking shitty human being, dude. Yeah, you said that you found some clips, but I don't want to expose him. <laughs> yeah. You know, this like, isn't about well, exposing I, the, Dinesh. I, I do believe that in the end, karma, a lot of times, especially if you keep poking at it, will yeah. get you back yeah. most of the time. So whatever, Am Dinesh like can do whatever he wants. Sorry. So anyways, we do this. We did this two episodes. This is about three months ago. Didn't think of it again. I've mentioned on the show, I got some DMs from people yeah. mm -hmm. um, about Coco that knew her. I think right. she went on Aaron Marsh's podcast before we did ours. So she's been, you know, it's been in the thing. But last week, I, I think it was Gerardo who texted me first. He sent me a video clip of Coco and I was just like, probably just another funny video. That's yeah. what I thought. Right. But then- um, Somebody I, had commented on one of the episodes. They commented saying, watch out for Coco. And I was like, what happened? And then I yes. went to her TikTok. Oh, so you saw that first. <laughs> yes. You saw that before me. See, I didn't even see that. Yeah. What I saw was the same girl that always messages me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. She sent me something like, oh, and I'm at work. So I'm like half reading things. Right. And she sent me like, oh, watch out. She tell your dad to watch out. <laughs> She's like, she's coming for you. Maybe I'll, if I find it, I'll read it out. But so then I was like, it didn't even click at that point. I still thought it's probably just some joke or something like that. Right. But I watched the clip and she talks about us. Yeah. And it's, let's play that clip. Okay, here you have it. Oh my God, my that. life gets weirder and weirder every single day. Uh, somebody just like sent me a message on Instagram and they were like, oh, there's this podcast that these guys did about you. And there's like two episodes that are about me. I didn't watch them all. I watched like five minutes of one of the. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> you guys. You listen to all of it. Yeah. <laughs> they know me. They're like, oh, we know her. 
Uh, and I remember she was friendly, and then they were just, like, making fun of me. And doing, I have literally never met these people ever in my life. <laughs> and they're, like, recounting these stories. I swear to God. Ne- like, not even vaguely familiar. Uh, and I have crazy fucking people, like, harassing me online. Okay. Like, creating. <laughs> well, let's let, let's let the whole clip play. Right. Let's let that. Let's let that all. Stories about me getting me fired from my job. People I've never fucking met in my life. Like, oh my God. I, I, I don't oh, really? Think I, dude. I'm honestly, I think I'm going to have a nervous breakdown, guys. I am. She said, I think I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah, okay. So Brendan sent me this one day, I guess after you sent it to him. Yeah. And oh, I watched right. it and I was so angry <laughs> that my executive producer <laughs> kicked in mm. and I was so mad and I yelled at you about it. Because, okay, here's yeah. the thing. She definitely listened to the whole thing, first of yeah. all. Uh-huh. She's like, this is how she said, oh my God, my... If you're, if you're old enough to drink, you don't talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. done. Fair point. You Fair can't point. be 42 years old and talking like that. Wait, yeah, like, okay, to address this video, mm-hmm. um, first of all, Gerardo never said that he knew her. Yeah. In any part of the episode. I mean, I feel like I do now after watching all these TikToks. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's hard to not get, you know, you feel like you're connected to Bristol. <laughs> Starting to see why she has such a, this fan base. I want to save her from these people. Yeah. You know, these horrific people that are stalking her. I want to go into the Arlington County Police Department and be like, hey, you guys, you stop harassing my girl. What are you going to do about all these pedophiles? Yeah, yeah. and then aren't you all pedophiles too? <laughs> all the cops here. <laughs> it makes she no loves sense. it. Yeah. So she loves that there's a podcast about it. Yeah. She says that we don't know each other. And I guess there's a, a small possibility that she doesn't remember me. That's possible. Why? Yeah. yeah who knows? Right. But like the, I, the, she makes it sound like I'm a stalker and I'm making this up. Yeah. I worked at flappers <laughs> with her. I was a coworker. But she also phrased it in a way where she was like, the guy says he knows me. He says he remembers me being nice. And then edits it to then be like, people are stalking and harassing me. So it makes it sound like you're doing that. Yeah. And which, that was the part that annoyed me about it. In no way am I doing, we have not mentioned her in three months. Right. It was fun to talk about her because her videos are hysterical. <laughs> right. They're out of control lunacy. Yeah. Yeah. And so like, I mean, I, I worked at, let me just say it. I worked at Flappers. Flappers is not a big club. Okay. Right. It has two stages. There's maybe like, 10 to 15 people working there at a time. Two stages, but a lot of burnt pizzas. I never told, <laughs> yeah, they burn their pizzas, okay? Two stages, one is a storage closet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One is a place you can go smoking. They, and I one never told toilet. any stories about her other than saying that she seemed nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I don't think. So, I mean, the only thing that I vaguely remember about her is that she was fairly nice. I got the feeling that she wanted to be a comedian, but she did that standard kind of excuse of like, oh, I work all the time, I'm busy. Mm -hmm. But if you're a waiter in or server in a comedy club, you probably have some sort of inkling to do stand-up. And most of them did stand-up. So I would see her and she was like, to be honest, she's a little bit, She's not. She's not not the inspiration for the sad waitress in the pilot. <laughs> so I, I know her. I mean, that like, place is like a sad waitress mill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, she's pretty much the the what it's based on. Yeah. Like, for the most part, because I didn't base it on. There's a bunch of other waitresses that I know you that work it, there too. You heard it here. 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 Yeah, ah, yeah. I can't <laughs> fucking talk. You want, no, you're doing. You here. heard it here first, folks. Listen, you're doing great. <laughs> we got him. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> That I get arrested somehow. But, but then again, the cops were probably on my side. The cops She's, are watching every live stream right now. ACPD to, to like, I'm like Blue Lives Matter guy to them now. Okay. Cause I'm standing up to this yeah. lunatic yeah. who's said all these terrible things. You're about Trump. Them. She's Biden. Yeah, Trump. Okay. We all love Coco. Okay. Coco said she doesn't know me, but she said she doesn't know a lot of other guys too. If you know what I mean. There's okay. a lot of bald men she says she doesn't know. <laughs> Move to my hometown. I mean, what you doing there? Okay, waiting for me to come back. Okay. Arlington now. She Trying hates- Trying to find your dad? <laughs> come on. Coco, Dinesh, there's good people on yeah, both sides. Leave my, leave, uh, at very little, leave my dad out of this, please. Do Look, not call my dad. They're going to, they're going to Virginia. They're not sending their best and brightest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're leaving flappers. I mean, that's so crazy. I, and I got that. So I was, Okay, let me read off though what the um, 
so this is how I, the first inkling of it, I think, was uh, the woman who, she's also been harassed by Coco, sent me a mm-hmm. thing saying, oh, okay, now warn your dad, Coco has found the podcast. <laughs> mm. Laughy face, laughy face. Ironically, in the last week, she has gone really overboard, and one of her biggest supporters turned on her and sought out a bunch of us to apologize. Unrelated, but also amusing, my best friend sent me a TikTok she came across that was amusing. Oh, and she, you know what it was? The what? TikTok was Isimo. Oh, what? Yeah, it was a new episode with Joel. I didn't watch. I can't remember what. Oh, whatever, the bre- oh yeah, the bread one. Yeah, whatever clip you posted, yeah. Joel, <laughs> you're getting uh, Coco Briscoe victim fans. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's making a TikTok. She's, yeah. she's Trump now. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Then I, I didn't even, I didn't watch the clip because I was at work and I had my headphones and I asked you and, and then you told me that. And I watched it. So I sent it to my one of my group chats. They were like, you got to respond on TikTok. You got to mm-hmm. get her. Um, also, let's play... So this is just, this is proof. Let's yeah. play my Flappers clip, f- clip that I worked at Flappers. Okay, here it goes. This is embarrassing for me, but I feel like it's important. Uh. And they spelled my name wrong. <laughs> Brendan. Hey, so I'm a middle class white guy. So it was either stand up comedy or anything else I wanted to do. <laughs> That's enough. I can't take any more of that. Wow, at, the, so, the stage did have a lot less yeah. shit on it. <laughs> You can see the evolution of the Yoohoo room. <laughs> this is when the hard times of the finance, like, they're doing much better. When they only better. had a futon in the yeah. back. <laughs> they have, like, a, a, a yeah, either bench. a futon or a park bench or something like that and a stool. <laughs> so, look, I, I'm working at Flappers. You can see I had to wear suspenders for yeah, the job. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And a Flappers like hat. A I'm literally, this is my break. My 10-minute break is five minutes of stand-up. <laughs> So, I mean, like, I don't know what to tell you. This is, this video is from seven years ago. So do the math. You know, I, that was when she worked there probably. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't know when she left because I'm not a stalker. I'm not stalking. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you say I'm not a stalker, you sound like one. <laughs> but I mean, look, just look. I, this is, does that look like the face of a liar to you? <laughs> okay. So you can exit. I love so. R&B music. That sounds like a lie. No, no, no. I don't want nothing. I can't. God knows what follows that. That might get me canceled. I love R&B music. I don't want to know. Exit out of that. I love R&B music, but no. (laughs) There's a but after I love R&B music. Hopefully no one. Sad. 537 views of people who never watch me again. Half of it's Coco's followers. So she did, she did that clip where she's like talking about our podcast, but she also called us out by name apparently on the live. Oh shit! She did yeah, a live, but, but I didn't see it. She took it down. I she guess. Took, yeah, we I guess tried she, to look at it. It was gone. We couldn't find what? it. I want to see. I, I mean, I, I wish we would have seen these before because I don't want to like waste time. But no, I mean, it's never those, a waste of time with Coco Brisco. No. All those new ones, like at the top row, like where she's in the black t-shirt. You see it? Oh, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, like this looks brand new. I'm just curious. All Did right, play it. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, Daisy's here. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to do a check-in. I am in my new place, all moved in. Uh, Daisy's here, (laughs) eating her food. Um, I'm sorry it's been a few days. It's just that moving is insane. It was so much work. And apparently everybody in Arlington was moving this weekend and getting a U-Haul was nearly impossible. I had to actually get one from a different city to then move myself (laughs) out of town to then bring back to that same city. Um, that's but that's everything that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> everything is so inconvenient for her. It's that is rough though. I mean, she had to a get conspiracy too. She had yeah. to get a new U-Haul thing because uh, like all the U-Haul people are pedophiles. So. <laughs> right. Well, they all know about. <laughs> They're they all in on it. They're in. On, they work with rebellion at the Pike. Yeah. You U-Haul's know. in on those. U-Haul. Um, I hop. All these places are against. Well, let's keep going. I want yeah, to. what happened? I feel safe. I feel happy. And uh, Daisy's happy. And I just want to say thank you for all your support and everybody that's been checking in to make sure that I am okay. Um, it's been an overwhelming few days, but I can finally decompress and relax a bit. Love you. Guys. Okay, that's good cool so- for smoke weed. Yeah, or drink a lot. Yeah, probably but, drink a lot. But I understand. I understand where she's coming from because she's like, you know, she's saying she as there's a check in video. But a lot of women do that after they meet Gerardo. They check in <laughs> They're like, talks. I know everyone was worried about my safety. Gerardo knew where I lived. <laughs> Gerardo sent me. He replied to my TikTok. <laughs> this video is the closest it gets to normal for yeah. one of her videos. Yeah. yeah, like she's just doing a hey guys checking in, but. You know what it reminds me of? What? 
that that movie we always talk about that came out with um uh, where the w- Ingrid goes west. Oh yeah. Doesn't that seem like something Ingrid would post? Yeah. After she just murdered someone. She actually someone? does have big Ingrid goes west vibes. Yeah. Have you seen yeah. that movie? Never. <clears throat> it's pretty it's good. I thought it was pretty good. The yeah, scene Aubrey in the beginning. Plaza. Oh, She's never. like a lunatic. I, won't, I won't do spoilers, but that scene in the beginning is so funny. The first scene is hilarious. Yeah. And so the first scene's funny. Won't spoil it. But it's kind of like dark humor. And my friend put the show, the movie on for me. I laughed so hard. And my friend looked at me like, are you psychotic? <laughs> and I'm like, this is a comedy. <laughs> and she, my friend did not know it was a comedy. Oh. Yeah. People in LA are all damaged. We're all, we're all <laughs> damaged. You know, we laugh at stuff that's fucked up. But yeah, I mean, literally this is like the kind of shit that that main character, she's obsessed with social media. So she posts mm-hmm. like, Hey guys, so I'm doing great. You know, my dog's here. I didn't just yell at somebody because they accidentally spilled my Corona and had to kick them out of my spot. <laughs> this is probably too far. Now I'm like meaner though. I'm like meaner than the last ones. But it's just, it's just fucked up. She's yeah. like making me look like a stalker. Yeah. yeah. And the last ones you anything. were generous to her. I was nice about Both her. Of I you said were. that she was funny and yeah. nice. If anything, I was trying to make you say bad things and you were like, no, no, no. You know? Yeah. The yeah closest, you were diplomatic and nice. Yeah. The closest I came was maybe a few zingers. Like when I said she looks like dressed like a bullfighter. Here's the but thing. But that's a joke. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's always kind of dressed like a bullfighter yeah. or like a bumblebee. Or something. I literally, I said that she was attractive. I said she's an attractive, she attractive. woman. I'm not in a creep. I just said she's attractive. She That's watched it. that and she's like, you're going to eat those words, Brendan. Uh, yeah. Who, what, if, who watches I'm going to get that? even crazier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who watches a video where a guy's nice? And now I sound like creep. Now I'm trying to say, I'm getting a creep. Hey, I was nice about it. Listen I gave to you a, listen to me. I gave You're you lucky a compliment, I even talked babe. about you, all right? Come on. These bitches, you can't say anything to <laughs> them. To be totally honest, we struggle with topics for the show. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to talk about. I remember exactly why we did the second episode because we got like 180 views on the oh, first right. dating yeah. in DC. Yeah, yeah. And Brendan's like, we got to come back strong, dude. More Coco Brisco. That is true. That is, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I forgot. Should yeah, we, we never about, get views. So that's Should we talk about the Reddit stuff? Or no? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I, you sent me that and you sent me a Reddit thread mm-hmm. and I was reading it. And you know, I, if someone's, they say they're being harassed and stuff, I'm inclined to, you know, believe them, yeah. support them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then people, they had a whole subreddit that they had to lock down called Coco Brisco. <laughs> right. And people in it were saying um, that she beat up her old roommate. Well, what? Mm-hmm. And then the police report says it was racially motivated. Oh my God. So her old roommate was an African-American woman. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was. And that's, she said she that's beat he, her up. They said that she assaulted her old roommate, and that's why she left Los Angeles. Am I gonna get doxxed? <laughs> I, 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 I feel I feel bad speculating on that. I'm not I, yeah, well, I don't. But I'm just I mean, saying. that is what. No, it's it's interesting for the show. Um, <laughs> it was on a Reddit, um, so that's like something that may that happen. Who knows right. what really happened there? I don't. Yeah, know. I don't know either. But that is pretty. Out pretty pretty outrageous thing not to mention. So yeah. we had to, it's a well, and then uh, some of the other people, the people in there, are saying that's like you said. They're like, why doesn't she ever address that on TikTok? <laughs> so this is alleged. Okay? Yes, alleged. Yeah, this is allegedly. These are all it, alleged things that people are asking. Saw on I, what I saw on the Reddit was like people being like, somebody's got to like expose her. Remember, like, what? yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like people yeah. are like, it's. Okay, she's obsessed with these people from the restaurant and that's mm. whatever. But then there's like this whole other group of people that are obsessed with her. Mm. So I do kind of, I think that there's like unhinged people on both sides a little bit Probably. with this whole situation. Probably. It seems like everybody is like bored and obsessed. I don't know. But do you, do you remember the one where it's like the people are talking back and forth on Reddit and they go like... uh Oh, the pot. There's this podcast, and then someone sticks up for me. They're like, the podcast. Well, only one of them said that they knew him, and then somebody goes, "What if it was two podcast guys that solved this or like fixed this all shit?" <laughs> yeah. That shit is crazy. Are you on the subreddit right uh, now? It is private. He's on it. <laughs> it's yeah, it's private. private. I tried to join it, and they won't let you. What about the one that has like that talks about the podcast? I was able to read those comments. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm, I, I need- DM'd you that a while, and there's I can send so it to you. I have it on memes. my thing. Um. Oh, let me text it to you. Um, yeah, this this is the one that uh, that I was looking at. I don't remember who sent it to me. Maybe Danielle. Danielle did like a deep dive on this. 
I did a deep dive the other day, but it's all on my laptop. I don't know. All right. I texted you the Reddit link. Okay, cool. But, um, I mean, I wanted to have you on, Caitlin, because in a part, well, you all, you pitch yourself, you pitch yourself, <laughs> and that's something that you have to do in Los Angeles. <laughs> you have to get yourself out there. <laughs> but I wanted to have you on because I, you know, it is just two guys talking about a woman. Yeah. So I wanted to at least have a woman on who can, you know, sort of, uh, Weigh in, weigh in and, and do your opinion on it. See if you have anything different. Like, what do yeah. you think of this? What do you think of Coco Briscoe? Have you watched all the TikToks? My takeaway, I did. I watched a lot of the TikToks and without knowing her, I do not know her. I never <laughs> alleged to know her. We've never met. I am not pretending to know this person. I'm only judging based on what I've seen on TikTok. And that's, you have to give the disclaimer. Yeah, you have to give the disclaimer, um, yeah. But it, it seems, I mean, she's doing the thing where she only tells like one very specific side that leaves out huge chunks of information. Like, I'm like, I've never gone somewhere. It's, and people kind of distilled it. Like, it sounds like she, there was a group chat making fun of her two years ago. Mm-hmm. And okay. that she was drunk and going around the neighborhood. Like, she leaves out the parts where like. She looks bad. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so it, which I get, but it's. It's just like, I think it goes to this bigger issue of just like the algorithm. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you don't know her. I barely know her. I'd never said that we were friends. I know that she dated, she dated Joshua Wad briefly. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just kidding. She didn't. Oh, she swiped right though. She swiped right on Josh. Um, I mean. That's hilarious. We were not going to talk about her at all ever again until she like, I think she kind of wants us to. Yeah, Why would I she mean, bring that's it up? the other thing. I, she looked way too excited in that video that people were talking about her on a podcast. Yeah. Why that was like would, the point that I was getting at. Why would us doing a podcast give her an emotional breakdown? Maybe <laughs> because the, and that's truth, the thing. true eyes looking at lies. No, because she... <laughs> wait, what is that? Uh, real eyes, real lies, real lies. I don't even know. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm reading the comment thread that you sent me and I regret changing the name to Raccoon Tweeties. Because when people ask which podcast is it, they would have put raccoon titties, dude. Yeah, yeah man, that would have uh, really turned them it. against us. Though. Yeah, true, true, true. I true. mean, nobody would have thought we were the voice of reason. No one's going to argue for Arlington raccoon Arlington PD titty calls titties. you up. <laughs> are, you, are you Mr. Titties? <laughs> <laughs> we love your pod, man. That's the last thing I need. She's a police department. She's bonkers, dude. <laughs> At the way I look. I'm like, yeah, he really is Blue Eyes Matter guy. <laughs> I mean, that's the craziest one is all those, uh, those like trick talk she has about them. Like how does the, what does the Fairfax it's police the department have to do? It's the same story over and over right. again. And what? that's like, like uh, when you look, it's like she gets like a hundred or so views mm. on just like talking about dating. And then she gets like 30,000. I swear to God. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. No, let's play, let's play another one. Is there, know, I'm trying to look for another one right now. Is there now. any other new well, ones? What were you saying? Oh, well, just that, like, I mean, even if you look I at this Because I said the same grid, thing. Yeah, yeah, like, she used to get, like, 8,000 views, this and that. And then what, as soon as she calls right. some police pedophiles, she gets, like, 100,000 views. Right, exactly. Mm. And, yeah. like, yeah, so she's really just, like, yelling buzzwords, like, yeah. I, because I support BLM. And then, you know, yeah, yeah. 30 million people watch your TikTok. Yeah, and it's, like, it's questionable with the uh, racial attack history. Yeah. <laughs> It's like those two things aren't congruent. Is congruent a word I'm looking for? Yeah. But let's play the second to last one. Which I mean, one? Like the and one the, after yeah, the black. I think I've seen this one before, but play this one. Let's see what it is. You watch all her videos. Now, for yeah. a year, you guys have been telling me to move. Uh, I saw this. And at one point, yeah, this I announced just the that I wasn't. Yeah, this one's kind of whack. Move. Let's yeah, go to the one right after the one she talks about You guys about an update us. on what's been going on um, with my case of the people who've been harassing me. My case. Years, who got me wrongfully arrested and got me fired from my job recently. I have spoken to the husband's chain of command and they are investigating <laughs> the, husband? the situation yeah i Pause have, it for a second. i'm gonna get this. this is she's doxing a guy that's in the military oh my yeah. god with so, this and his wife the person that dms me explained it to me but i didn't really understand she said them something about there's this person named nikki and mm-hmm. nikki worked at the bar that she worked at and told her that she doesn't want any drama or something mm-hmm. and Coco Briscoe took offense to that and made like millions of TikToks saying that Nikki is a bad person and harassing her. So then. And got her fired. I think she was telling people that this woman got her fired. So Nikki quit or got fired. And then the, the bar, apparently she's saying that the bar got a lot of phone calls from people. And because of that, 
she got fired from the bar. And and then so she's trying to get Nikki back for getting her fired. So Nikki's husband is this Marine or something. So she called his commanding officer or something and was like, hey, your wife is making how the military guys are probably like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the, how the, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> what? TikTok, what's that? <laughs> Tick, the pedophiles. <laughs> They're like, we're going to Ukraine right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I ain't got imagine. time for this Chinese talk ticket. <laughs> yeah. The army guy's like, Nikki, what's going on? <laughs> Nikki. Who's TikTok? They call up Biden. <laughs> You're dating someone named TikTok by my back. <laughs> Who the fuck is Coco? Tell me. Uh, yeah, like, but yeah, I mean, God knows what they think. But I guarantee you the military isn't investigating this. Yeah. Imagine can't. if you, like someone at your job, right? Yeah. You get a phone call one day and it's like somebody, they're like, hey, did you know that your coworker's sister was sleeping with my cousin? <laughs> and uh, yeah. you'd be like, I don't give like, a I don't, fuck. Yeah, I'd be like, excuse me? I'm hanging up the phone. <laughs> 10 minutes of Coco Briscoe to yeah. the new segment, man. <laughs> so nuts. Like, Coco Briscoe! Coco! Coco! Coco. 10 I've minutes of Coco, that would be a Let's do it, dude. <laughs> I don't know if we can do that. Yeah, we can't. I don't know. I mean, that, this, this hour of Coco is probably already, she's, you know, having people that are going to come over to Caitlin's apartment and um, <laughs> knock out the door. Justice for Coco. <laughs> we won't go. Hey, hey. Criticism oh, for oh. this one, but I've spoken again with the Arlington County Police Department. Okay. In the past, they did not handle my situation they did uh, not. well, in my opinion, and I have been very critical of them. I have found a detective who is helping. And uh, her name is Detective Invest. Uh, well. <laughs> what was her name? <laughs> who was that one detective? To detective Maida. No, oh, you mean was... sorry? Oh, so it's like Detective Police. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. That sounds so funny. Police, yeah. That's so funny. His name is Christopher Police. <laughs> <laughs> it all sounds like you know stuff that's going on in her head. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh no. His name I is know. John Law Enforcement. Um, <laughs> <laughs> John Law Enforcement. Employment situation. She'll be getting back to me today, hopefully. Um, but I'm, I know there's a lot of newcomers on here, and I know that I'm getting newcomers. a ton of criticism for the route that I've taken, and I don't care. Uh, unless you have gone through what I've gone through for the last year, then you don't get it. Well, now we resort. do get it because you're <laughs> yeah. talking about us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're literally like going on there trying to get your followers to attack us. We complimented you. Yeah. yeah. We're not even one of these people. This is, I don't know if this is true, but the people that have reached out to me say that like people that leave one comment that disagree with her, mm -hmm. she floods her followers against them. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Their dad no, the and their first mom time and all this I stuff. was watching, there was a woman who like made duets or whatever, like responding to her and yeah. being like, stop doing this. Like you're like, whatever, co opting BLM to like fight people from a bar. Like yeah. all this stuff. And then they were getting comments from these people. I don't understand. There is no person on TikTok that I care about enough to go like attack. Them. Yeah, I don't even understand how TikTok works. But it, remember the ones that the funniest thing that she would say is like anytime she disagreed with somebody, she'd be like, and that lets me know that your TikTok is unsafe for women. Yeah, <laughs> like, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. the That's thing the is. Best. <laughs> so your I know Instagram. <laughs> your Instagram is an unsafe place for women. So it's important for me to say that it is because so women don't go to your Instagram by accident and then die. Your Twitter circle <laughs> is a dangerous neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> now I know that 7-Eleven is an unsafe place for women because I went there and I couldn't find the, the kind of beer that I want. You know, you know how I get when mama don't have her <laughs> sweet, sweet sauce. <laughs> I get a little angry. I might... Have a little bit of alleged racial attacks <laughs> going on if mama don't get her medicine. There might be some things I can't talk about. <laughs> She's on the phone with the CEO like, and another thing, can you bring me some, some sweet, sweet Jager bombs for me, Jager mama? <laughs> I, don't know. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't understand why she talks like that. Yeah, it's a weird That's, cadence. It's a weird cadence. And I mean, they did put her age in the newspaper, and I feel like once I was twenty five, I was too old to be talking like that. And uh, <laughs> not I, no judgment on being in your forties. I I feel like I mean I don't obviously don't want to say that I know her again, even though that is true. I do <laughs> I do know her. We have met. I'll go on a lie detector test. Let's both do lie detector <laughs> tests. We'll see who's lying and who's telling the Gerardo, truth. Gerardo, are you fat? Yeah, no, yeah. that's, how they, that's how they test it out. Yeah. <laughs> but like when I knew her, 
Uh oh. <laughs> um, she was like pretty normal. Like maybe seemed a little kind of sad or whatever, but you <laughs> oh know, my like God, Brendan. I got being honest. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was everybody at Flappers. Well, yeah, I was too. I was too. Yeah. I was working at Flappers. You, Ken Gar, you were all crying. I was an, intern. I was an intern at Flappers. It was even lower than she was. So, um, you know, but she was nice and friendly to mo- everyone. It seemed like almost at most people, but she seemed just like a nice. Oh, that's the friendly waitress. But like, I don't know now. I don't know this person. I don't. I mean, I didn't really know her then. But I, uh, her, the way she's acting in these videos, ma- sicking her followers on random like negative comments. Yeah. Do I wish I had that power? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> would I absolutely? I would absolutely sick drone adventures on Sunday. <laughs> Drone if adventures. I had the power, but I don't. Who would you sick them on? I'm just kidding. I wouldn't. I don't want people to get doxxed and humiliated. I don't either. I don't want her to get, but I'd like her to stop because this <laughs> is immoral, what she's doing. Not to get it on is. my high horse. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, you shouldn't do that to people. I don't think, uh, when you get to the point where you're calling people's bosses and like yes. co worker, like, yeah, that, I don't know. The military has enough to worry about already, right? Yeah. Mil- I mean, I don't need to deal with. Some insane TikTok. Yeah, we're in a recession. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty soon they're gonna have to start shooting people at flat. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyone who's put- like, just ignore it and it'll, it'll go away. I have ignored it. I have gone on and done other content. I've ignored it. I make at least three TikToks. Yeah, yeah, I know you have no <laughs> way ignored it. <laughs> just constant lies. <laughs> I ignore it when I'm not streaming. (laughs) I've blocked these people from thousands of accounts, okay? Having my name just completely uh, demolished online and having stories made up about me that are horrifying to me, uh, it's... She never says what the stories are, but maybe she's talking about the alleged racial thing. I mean, here's the thing. If someone said, hey, Caitlin... I've heard you've committed a hate crime. I would be like, I didn't. And I could prove, like, yeah. whatever. If this was the date. I'd probably person, talk about it, yeah. Yeah, like, I would say no. Especially, like, if I didn't do something, I would absolutely be like, no, I didn't do that. Yeah, I would mention the hate crime. Yeah, I wouldn't just be like, <laughs> somebody like said I thing. did something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't There's mention rumors what circulating, <laughs> so call this guy's boss right yeah. now. Yeah. Somebody said a thing about me, so here's what you got to do. Call their dad. <laughs> yeah. Call their mom. Meanwhile, I like murdered a person. Imagine I, like, a bunch of people like Coco calling your mom and dad. That's just. That is weird. I wouldn't wish that on my, my worst My dad yeah. would filibuster. My dad does not. He'll start talking and never stop. He'll start explaining Parks and Rec. <laughs> yeah, your dad would be like, do you hear that Joe Coy broke up with Whitney Cummings? That's You're exactly like, what, what my dad did call me to about? say the other day. My dad only watches TMZ news and then he calls me and tells me all celebrity news. I mean, if they were to call my dad, it would take so long to explain to him what's going on. He'd be like, all right, all right, all right. Start at the beginning. (laughs) There's like 30 minutes and they would get so frustrated. My dad would be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I I think I know where you are, but what is a phone? (laughs) They would like have no idea. They would be trying to, they wouldn't be saying anything. They'd be like, okay, so your son allegedly mentioned me and then he's like, who are you? I can't say. <laughs> and uh, and uh, what is an iPhone? He just would have no idea. He'd constantly be like, you'd have to go to the beginning. Where did you guys hear about this uh, contacting and doxing from? Uh, that was all on the Reddit. Oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. the Reddit But again, stuff. I'm like. I, and people, the girl that messaged me. Right. You know? I feel like I don't fully understand who the people in the Reddit thread are. No. They seem very invested in this. Somehow. Yeah, I don't know who they are either, so it's hard to know who's telling the truth. But we saw some of it with our own eyes. Remember the first or second video we did? Yeah. We played that clip with that cute chick. Remember she like wrote a comment, and then Nicole Briscoe was like, how dare you say this thing? And then we should watch her TikTok, and she's just some like bartender. <laughs> yeah, it's some random person. This was the, the Reddit. It made me laugh. Uh, someone says... Like, I was shocked to see that the drama in her life is still ongoing. I saw her TikToks when I first started, and she just popped up on my FYP. At this point, I'm a little unsure of what to believe, but I want to say she's still the victim of what it seems like two women have a vendetta against her. And then they go, update. It seems I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Though I, it's also, it's important to say that the person behind all this Coco Briscoe stuff, like all the videos and all the comments, is James Fritz. <laughs> James Fritz. Yeah, is I too. think people don't talk about that enough. Yeah, people don't talk about Fritz is behind. So Coco d- docks James Fritz. <laughs> no. Also, is is Arlington PD code word for Ken Gar? 
Yeah, Ken yeah. Guard too. I bet she knows Ken. <laughs> I just he was said at Flappers that. all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. He's one of her friends. If you look at who follows who, your mutuals. Yeah, and then okay, Ken follows her. Well, yeah, Ken, well, nicest guy in comedy. Yeah, Ken's not gonna. <laughs> you know, I hope people don't Ken attack because Ken gets enough flack. All right. You know, <laughs> well, Ken's being friends with her. <laughs> Ken's yeah. her friend. <laughs> and she was on Aaron Marsh's podcast, so she knows Aaron. Yeah. Aaron, I'm sure, would, you know, be like, yeah, Brendan worked at Flap. Well, I don't know if he work- knows I worked at Flappers, but I'm sure if you were to ask Aaron, like, does Brendan know Nicole? He wouldn't be like, there's no way. I mean, you know. I don't know. I don't know who Aaron is. He's a short comedian guy. Are you still open to having Coco Briscoe on the podcast? Of course I am. <laughs> I'd love to have Nicole on this podcast. Yeah. I would apologize for all the things I've said. <laughs> I'd say, listen, we don't know what's going on in this subreddit. Perhaps right. we totally misread the situation. Seems unlikely. <laughs> but, like, explain what's going on. Yeah. I mean, the idea that I wouldn't talk about this is at Flappers and my hometown. Yeah. Arlington Now, my friend's little brother used to write for that. Mm-hmm. And Arlington Now is the paper that's, like, <laughs> crazy TikToker gets arrested for TikToks. <laughs> also, did she really get arrested for the TikToks? Can you really no, do because, that? No, well, it was like they had... A restraining order against her to make her stop talking about because she was doxing these people. Who had a restraining order against her? I don't know. One of these people, the original, the initial people from the bar. So you eventually can get arrested if you keep saying where someone lives. I don't think it was necessarily that she was saying where they live. Here we got the yeah. Hi guys, I'm going to jail. Remember we laughed a <laughs> lot. That is like the that. funniest. I remember, yeah, we saw the video where the cops were at her house. They're like, hey, we're just here because you're insane. <laughs> in September, prosecutors declined to pursue the charges uh, Briscoe faced on of violating a protective order. So that's the update. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a year ago, dude. I wonder what the protective order was. I think what you guys are mentioning that she shouldn't be talking about them online anymore. Like yeah, so people I, at the rebellion on the pike? Well, because she was like going live and being like, it's this bar. It's this bar. Like bartender. So, see, Coco, if you come on here, you can explain it to us and use our gigantic sh- 10 minutes of shop audience <laughs> <laughs> to clear your name. You just have to watch 10 minutes of Brendan's shop. She never mentioned that she worked at Flappers in the video. She never mentioned anything about trying to be a comedian. But that's what I mean she about the- hides a lot of stuff. Yeah, like the withholding information. Whereas I'm telling you everything, even the sad shit. You saw me in a fucking <laughs> we can watch one of those the stupid of hats. No, we're not watching this shit. <laughs> that I will hide. But you know what's out there, you can watch it yourself. Um, you know, like I'm not hiding anything. Yeah. Okay. We're not expo- I'm exposing myself. <laughs> she doesn't say a goddamn thing. It's all very curated and need I I mean when you don't what when you if there are things you don't reveal, what else are you not revealing? Yeah. Why doesn't she address what's on Reddit? There is a person here who says, uh, an un, as an unbiased person, who doesn't think either group is totally in the right. And they have, like, bullet points. Which is a sign of a nut job, but go ahead. <laughs> I mean, imagine I mean, writing three, five paragraphs on Reddit about <laughs> of TikTok. With right? bullet points. I mean, With bullet you, points. If your job is boring enough. I've had boring I guess, jobs. Yeah, I guess I just it. I work too hard at my job. I I, I just cannot. I I work so hard. Yeah. I don't know how to not do it because my shitty dad forced <laughs> me to do that. I'm just in vacation mode. <laughs> He's all a good day. guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> shitty dad. Don't call him Coco, please. <laughs> my shitty dad. Here's his phone number. Let's just, let's just dox my dad. <laughs> let's just dox him. <laughs> what were you saying though, Caitlin? Um, I forgot. Here's oh, the thing. Yeah. If they want to dox my dad, he's Native American. Sorry. You're a hate crime. <laughs> I know. Just keep in mind that Kaylin is Native American. So if you any kind of fury that you head her way, that is, you know, I mean, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, right? yeah. Not, not in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> but you were talking about the bullet point comments. Oh, yeah. So I have this whole thing here. Uh, trying to, like, sum it up. Yeah. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, this is the, we'll see we'll see what happens. Yeah. But now, I mean, we didn't want this war, mm-hmm. and we're fighting a war on three fronts right now: Flappers, <laughs> Brendan Schaub, and now Coco Briscoe. <laughs> three of the most important and intelligent and powerful voices. But also, shout out Luke Schwartz. We are we're yeah. out of that oh, yeah. war. I'm, yeah. ha- I'm happy we, n- we are. No lo- we no longer have a war with Luke because Luke. Ended his podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so you won the war. We won yeah. the war. Won. And Keith Johnson was was also married to Coco Briscoe for, some, for a time. Oh, yeah. They were friends. Allegedly. They know each other. Uh, 
We uh, shouldn't even shout him out because there's no way he listens to the podcast. Um, basically, the person is saying Coco seems to be an alcoholic, and like it seems that the real impetus for her fury was that they had a group chat where they were making fun of her. Mm. It was uh, kind of like what's really triggering this. If Coco Briscoe would come on the show and agree with all of us that Rachel Friedland shouldn't be in a non-monogamous relationship <laughs> because that's disgusting and wrong, I think we'd all agree. No, but I know she listens too, so that's another shout out. Oh. If you want to text me people that listen, I'll also make fun of them as well. Uh, Nick Oldershaw. Nick Oldershaw listens to this? No, I doubt it. I doubt that. Nick I'm just naming listens. people at this point. I'm just naming the most recent people I've DM'd. Isaac Hirsch will listen to this from time to time if we mention him. Right. He's a very fickle. Isaac Hirsch man. also will listen to anything that's about the Metro DC area. Oh, so we got to. Well, yeah, then there you go. There's Coco Briscoe. Yeah. I wonder if Sean Joyce would put Coco Briscoe on a show over Isaac. I mean, he may he may very well someday. <laughs> Was she has she given up on stand up? I would be intrigued. Probably. Like, yeah, did you ever probably imagine she starts doing stand up in DC? <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> I mean, she has it. a following. Yeah, it was, that's what we all want. We want a following. It is come crazy out to like say, okay, I'm I'm done with LA. I'm not trying to be an actress anymore. I'm just gonna go back to my hometown and then b- blow up on TikTok. I don't remember her hometown being Arlington. I guess it's possible, but I feel like that would have come up in our conversation. Yeah. So it seems unlikely that she's from Arlington, but then again, maybe I forgot. Maybe. I don't know. Crazy. You also don't listen when women talk. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. That is true. And I will continue to do that regardless of what happens with Coco Brisket. <laughs> I'm listening to her now. Yeah. I, when I saw that, women I got a little bit of scared. you to get attention. I got my heart. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. That's the way you do it. Listen. <laughs> I, it's not just women, also men. Gerardo, I barely, I hear 50% of what he said. <laughs> also, too, uh, do you have any more information about the live stream she did about us? No, I want to, like, if anybody can find that and DM me the information. Like, what is a live, I don't even know what a TikTok live stream is. You have to have at least a 1,000 followers to do it. Really? I found that out recently, yeah. Okay, so, all right. But it, and then you ha- you it stays it up, though, right? It is just live, no. It goes away. Isn't that what I think you can save it, but she probably didn't save not it. Not to bring up old wounds, but briefly I will do it just for this purpose. Didn't Dom stay up for a while? Wasn't it up? Isn't it still up? But that was Instagram. No, that was the actual video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. All right. Well, that wasn't worth asking that harmful <laughs> question. <laughs> wasn't worth harshing the vibe. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, does he do, no, does fine. she do like YouTube at all or is it only TikTok? Well, I think she see. only does TikTok. From what I so understand. It's like Coco Brisco on YouTube. I wish Coco I knew. Briscoe. Yeah, Coco Briscoe. Coco Briscoe. If somebody Coco. did a whole episode on me, I would be like flattered. Oh, this is the first thing that Going comes up. Going to jail up. for TikTok. Oh, if you look up Coco Briscoe, you're the first thing that pops up. <laughs> that's so funny. Both of our episodes. Well, maybe that's why she is. You're laughing oh, yeah, your she's... ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, play, the play, play I guess. you play. on your phone. <laughs> play, yeah. <laughs> play that, that the first one. This one jailed over TikTok. No, like, the, well, it's, yeah. Actually, yeah, play that. Oh, my God. It's fucking ads. One second. I mean, you know, maybe it's an ad for. Um, Today, we're going to be talking oh, about no, I, how I did watch bartenders' this. petty beef with a local influencer escalated to. <laughs> Stalking, abusive police is this power, us? and First Amendment <laughs> violations. Hello I don't there, know. my oh, name no, is Kristen. She has way more Welcome to my channel. Here, I like to talk about this social and cultural ASMR issues. About TikTok I'm drama. 39 years old. I am single, and I am living in a new city, and I am looking for my life partner. I don't know how long you're acting cute. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> is she crying about dating? <laughs> yeah, it's just not. A lot of the time. Oh my God. I love that this woman is on her side and she's like, so she moved and started this TikTok and it shows the, the most first like, the one worst. is her crying <laughs> hardcore. I don't know how much longer I can do this. And that's about her waiting for tacos. <laughs> She's been waiting a really long time. I ordered the salsa awesome. there. Well, like I more. do think it, if she wanted to pivot and do a face turn as wrestlers, would say she could go back to just like crying about being stood up because I think that would make her <laughs> funny. <laughs> the, pe- the, the people at the taco place were me. They were in the group chat. The, the dude's making the tacos like fucking Coco Briscoe stuff. <laughs> She's like a bitch, bro. Everyone in DC like, has a group chat about her. <laughs> She's fucking like ugly or whatever. Man. It's like the likelihood of that is so low. Uh, Last fail. Like, what am I missing here? Charlotte is a bartender in my neighborhood that shares photos and videos of me and my full legal name that she got from my credit card. And she does this all while on the clock. She took oh, a video of me riding my bike down the street at night and sent it to like 
he do? I don't know these guys. Just believe Why would you do that, you. Charlotte? But, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. 50 this, guys? This makes, like, so little sense that, yeah. like, she's clearly withholding information. Like, that was, like, my mom would always say, like, if this doesn't make sense, something is a lie. Something is missing from this story. If you can text 50 guys... 50 men, you're a proud boy. You know, like, I mean, like, that's like, that is not normal. I could get 50 guys here right now. Yeah. If I ever text 50 guys something, just send me to jail. That doesn't make, I, if Charlotte really did that, we have questions for Charlotte, but there's no chance that she did well, that. Well, two people liked whatever. Yeah, 50 guys, two out of 50 is what the is response that, rate was. What she's saying is. Oh, how does she have Charlotte's text? Yeah, I know, yeah well, that's oh, thing. that was also in the thread. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. like, so she used to date, like, the, the bartender or the dishwasher or something from one of these places. and <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. 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 Okay. This is all from the Reddit she thread. She accidentally I wasn't stabbed there. him for being black. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. No, but I don't know. They were saying that she, like, dated someone and then he broke it off with her. And I guess maybe he sent the screenshot. Like there was someone in the group chat that was like kind of friendly with her briefly. Uh, Who uses yellow to blank out stuff too? Yeah. That's a little weird, right? Yeah. They color yellow. Have you ever seen someone blank out something with yellow? Blue? Somebody that throws yeah. up a lot. A little off. Yeah. yeah. Somebody throws up. Strange. <laughs> someone that's pissing constantly. <laughs> <laughs> She's all drunk on her phone. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm going to blank this for now. What's up, baby? And she calls the comedian <laughs> officer again. Hey, baby, give us some of that sweet, sweet sauce. <laughs> Is this saucy? I'm going to jail. <laughs> 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 oh, that escalated quickly. That escalated quickly. Damn, Kristen is funnier it than was, we are. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, this lady is so cool. And she was called She's so Crisco. fucking good at this she shit. She recently moved to D.C. and is actively looking for it her life partner. It was so funny and because she, has been do- she was in front of a green screen of a cop showing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jail right now. I'm going to jail right now, you guys. Oh, my God. It's like she's like reenacting. <laughs> Oh my god! There's like a em- half empty bottle of Grey Goose in the corner, <laughs> or like even worse, like what if there were forties? She was in front of a green screen. It was like an old video, and she's going, "I'm going to <laughs> I'm falling over." <laughs> Documenting her search for love on a series that she has called "Dating DC." The series is a mix of vlog style okay. where she talks about her beliefs, <laughs> where she talks about specific dates. I like that Kristen's cat's in the back. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I like, that like, like a normal person. It seems the like. series had a lot of potential to set her up as a local micro influencer. But I don't know if that was her intention going into it. Her microphone it. is on a pen. I- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like so distracting. It is, but it's, I mean, it's, I, you know what? Sarah Koenig vibes, you know, cereal pod. I like it. I don't think it actually <laughs> was because I didn't see very many sponsored videos. I saw one or two from local businesses, but not very many. But in my opinion, a series where you go on a lot of dates and showcase local businesses, you know, restaurants, bars, etc., is perfect marketing potential. When I'm watching it, or dates, the idea, it's a good, like... Yeah, we gotta fast That was one thing, too. In- they said that, like, she was drunk at the bar one night being like, I'm not dating in D.C. You should, like, give me a drink or something. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> like, I, yeah. I mean, she was trying to get perks or whatever. Yeah. And I remember she was saying, I don't do that, but it's like, I would. Yeah. So I don't I even would. think that's weird. You're... <laughs> Yeah, give me free drinks. Why? Yeah, I've been sober a long time. The second Raccoon Tweeties gets a thousand subscribers, I'm going to go to fucking... um, The 35er? I'm going to go to 4100 and be like, listen, if you don't give me a free drink, I'm going to puke in your bathroom. (laughs) Give me 15 minutes at fourth wall. (laughs) Joe, you want want more people to show up. I mean, I did schedule him to be on the show. I can't remember what August date, though. Oh, shit, for real? Yeah, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to check back in with Joe, but we'll have him on. I love Joe. You should not mention that he has children in his profile. While we were talking back and forth on Bubble, he mentions he has children. Multiple. I said, sorry, but kids are a deal breaker for me. I hope you find what you're looking for on here. Uh, yeah, thank God. He replies, <laughs> keep ha, away ha, from ha, you. you're four years old. How many options do you think you really got? I hope you like cats. Trust me, those looks are about to fade real quick. This is the kind of behavior on dating apps that needs to stop. Just because a woman does not want to have children and does not want to take care of your children does not give you a right to insult her. I am so sick of this toxicity. Just because the toxicity I don't want kids, of our city, of our city. Okay, that is like 
anything that happens on like I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I've like done a lot of like therapy and stuff <laughs> but like I just like I told you this guy called me whack AF on a dating app yeah. the other day like yeah I, like I've had I've had to block people because I've been like look I don't think this is a good match and they like blew up my phone yeah obviously that guy's response is bad yeah you shouldn't do that but is it worthy of doing a TikTok about? Not really. Is it? You would know? I show people that? No, yeah. You don't go around, oh, God, they called me old and fat. <laughs> they said <laughs> they I'm going to be ugly soon, <laughs> like in town square. I have no options. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's pointing out things. <laughs> she, she said, ha ha, kids are a deal breaker to me. That's not necessarily a very nice thing to say to somebody. Yeah, yeah it's You not could a- just be like, I'm not interested or not respond. You don't need to say, hey, I don't want to took. I don't want to see your kid. You know, that's yeah. not necessarily the nicest thing. But that shouldn't be called out either. Yeah, right. Both of them are weird. Yeah, I mean, the what guy was saying? like being a, like rude. Oh, he was being a big asshole. But yeah, I mean, that, that response is like way overboard. But if someone's acting like an asshole, you just unmatch. Your exactly. Mom. Exactly. Date. The chef did not show up, and he did not reply to her when she asked him what was going on. Oh, that was it. Okay, so I got stood up. Um, I changed my outfit. Don't you dare stand up, Coco Prisco, dude. <laughs> Damn. I got stood up. Here's his address. <laughs> yeah, right? His dad's phone number. Here's his commanding officer's phone number. <laughs> I'm going chef. to take my bike for a little ride. Uh, he didn't even reply to my text when I said, hey, did you forget you invited me to lunch today? No response. So stood up and ghosted. So that's fun. Um, I'll be at Rebellion on the Pike, and I'm going to be having lunch and having some drinks. This is where it all began. (laughs) These are the good old days. The the goal, you know, when she used to like Rebellion on the Pike is her favorite bar. Yeah. She'd go there when a chef didn't show up to the date at uh, Los Tios. I wonder if this woman is about to, like, do the timeline where it's like, and this is where it all went hard. Yeah. Because this sort of feels like it's pretty good so far. Yeah. Also, because, too, like, the guy, the first guy responds negatively in a yeah. bad way. The second guy just ghosts her. Yeah. And so it's yeah. like two sides of the spectrum of like the inappropriate way to respond. And Coco's going to comment on both of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah no, you dogs. don't get to do any kind of dating faux pas and no. make it unscathed. Yeah. Yeah. Not no chance. All. Not on dating DC, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this bar, she met somebody that she would call soccer guy. Soccer guy was a local bartender. <laughs> she told him how she had been stood up by the chef she had been dating and he this is like, and Wait a minute, she told soccer guy about want. chef guy? And- <laughs> Holy shit. She's like, look, I was just on a date an hour ago. <laughs> he Listen. didn't show. So soccer guy, I have to tell you, I have a dark past with chef man. <laughs> chef man was not there for me when I needed him emotionally, but even worse than that, text guy... <laughs> Told me I'm a fat, ugly bitch someday. Dude Not with, now. A dude with ugly kids guy. Yeah. yeah. And then dad ugly. man. <laughs> dad man came out of nowhere and told me he had a son. And I said, gross. Thumbs down. And, I and said, then he you're turned officially in, dad. And then he turned into cat guy telling me I'm going to have a lot of cats. Okay, he said I would have a cat guy. But even worse than that is when I saw a video of Gerardo man. <laughs> And Brendan, Brendan the albino. And bald guy. And Annie Letterman. Yeah, bald <laughs> Brendan and Annie Letterman making fun of me. I saw a video where this guy Gerardo was saying he knew me. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. a Native American, a Mexican, and an albino walk into a bar in Alhambra. <laughs> no, walk into a bar in D.C. and it's rebellion on the bike. <laughs> I got to get her drunk and like hang out and see what she says. You're probably a titty guy. No, yeah, <laughs> nobody should be openly racist, but if she was openly racist, it would be kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> just to see. Just to see it. I'm sorry. I don't, that's too far. All right. So we did. Edit that out. She had a really good no, date I'm with him and that. posted about it, really excited about having met somebody new and, you know, kind of being like rescued from the crappy situation that she was in. Unfortunately, later that day, there was an upsetting twist <laughs> of events. <laughs> I learned something tonight that really hurt my feelings. Oh, shit. If you've been watching my content, you know about 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 how I got stood up today and about how the soccer guy came in. Soccer guy! Yada, yada, yada. Well, apparently there's a group chat that men are in in my neighborhood who Uh think it's really funny to talk about dating DC and to have dates with me and humiliate me. What? The fact that people in my neighborhood are talking behind my back and trying to set me up. That's... So hurtful. New information for us, right? Today was in a group chat with everyone in my neighborhood, and people are <laughs> laughing at me. She well, had. Pause okay. it. Yeah, pause. We're definitely doing that because it's funny, <laughs> but. <laughs> we're, not, we're not in a group chat about you. Yeah. But like, okay, so she's Wait, is saying, that what's happening to me? <laughs> yeah. 
It is, well, I am doing that to you because <laughs> Miss Texas, my, she's with another nineteen-year-old. Okay, she told him she loves him. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So he sent me a joke over there's, there. I hate this phrase, but there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so she is saying that these, there are men in her neighborhood in Arlington that have a group chat where they're standing her up. So maybe this is the whole thing was the group chat started as yeah. claiming that guys are making fun of her texting. Oh, I wonder I if that's know. the 50 guys. All 50 guys. <laughs> no, but you know, like I wonder if it's like a few dudes thought it was funny and then this whole 50 guys chat is those dudes that have been matching her on apps. So us talking about this doesn't necessarily make us the most awesome, cool people that people would want to be like, but we're better off than 50 guys who like are yeah. setting up fake dates. Yeah, that's, that's, kinda, that's not right. They shouldn't yeah, do that. That's mean and also yeah. kind of like- But what do those them. 50 guys have to do with like people in the military and stuff? Unless they're part of that original group. Well, that's a good DC question. Is. That's actually a really good question. I do not know. Well, no, I think the military guy- is his wife is a bartender at one of oh, those so bars. Oh, so it's a different scandal. It's ridiculous. Yeah. All right. But it all started with, I guess, this. Is she gonna, yeah, let's see what Kristen has to say. With chef guy now we're at soccer, soccer guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> soccer guy is probably part of it. I mean, we all knew soccer guy is kind of yeah, fucked yeah. up. It's also know? like all that terminology. That's like when I was in... Like ninth grade, we would like refer to dudes like that in code. Yeah. Like that's how you talk about people you date when you're a teenager. Yeah. Caitlin is stuck on this uh, Nicole being developmentally uh, (laughs) disabled. No, I just, not developmentally (laughs) disabled. Developmentally stunted. No, I'm just no, kidding. I think that like we she all agree, has but it's something. funny to single you out. <laughs> Great, I'm being attacked. The women are being attacked yeah. on both That's, sides. I can't, yeah, I can't help. This but podcast attack is women. not safe for women. This That's podcast not. is not safe for women. Uh, clearly, they- <laughs> women are being attacked on the podcast. <laughs> Coco Brisco said that it's like I know it's unsafe for women, and then Caitlin comes on our podcast. And it's clearly not safe. <laughs> I'm like Coco. I'm with you. This is not safe for women. Oh, I insulted Miguel just as much. <laughs> And I will again. Yeah. Okay. This podcast is dangerous for women and Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't say people of color. <laughs> but I haven't had any white people on, right? I don't think I've had any white people on. No, I don't think so. Uh, Deep right. screenshots Ken? from a group chat with Ken around 50 phone. locals, <laughs> mostly men, who had been gossiping about her, making fun of her for quite some time. And in this group That's chat, she, she read screenshots where she found out that the guy, soccer guy, who had rescued her <laughs> from being stood up by the Chris chef, trying not to laugh. had been in on everything and had been mocking her with all of these people. Obviously, this hurt her feelings. Nobody likes being gossiped about, and especially nobody likes when someone that you thought was your friend, who you thought liked you, had been making fun of you the entire time that you'd known them. Can I just can I just say that? What's her name, Kristen? Yeah, yeah she does guess. Coco better than Coco does, dude. She does. Yeah. She's but like also, explaining her crazy ways pretty well. When you're on a dating app, nobody's your friend. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust anybody when yeah. you're on Tinder, okay? It's, this is every man for himself. <laughs> yeah, it's about getting in and then uh, staying in a relationship, <laughs> deleting the app. But know. it's... It, it's so funny to be like, she was swiping on Bumble. She thought they were all her friends. Yeah, it was like the Tinder swindler or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Yeah, this is like this a bad vegan. This is our this is our bad vegan. It is. We make a documentary about Coco Brisco. <laughs> Coco Brisco, bad hey, we can get some we can get some gambling addicts in here. <laughs> all right. This, is, this, this guy, song. Raccoon Titties, <laughs> demanded that I kiss him in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she edits it to yeah. make it look like Raccoon titties, dude. <laughs> yeah. I just did a shamanism. <laughs> Raccoon guy? <laughs> that says he yeah. knows me? He asked me to wog him to his truck. And- <laughs> to his truck? <laughs> oh, really, dude? Oh, really, dude? That's upsetting. It didn't take long for things to escalate further. This group had already shown that it was willing to go real life, so it's not surprising that they were willing to do other messed up things. Also, side note, I think the going real life is actually the reason that somebody eventually notified Coco of what was going on. I think a lot of people are fine with gossip and making fun of people as long as it stays in the group chat. But once it escalates to (laughs) manipulating people in real life and playing with people's emotions in real life, it starts to become a little bit less acceptable. So I'm assuming somebody in the group chat decided to let Coco know what was going on because it had crossed a line for them. Unfortunately, not everybody in the group chat felt like a line had been crossed, and some people were even emboldened by 
what had happened. Especially one woman named Charlotte, who was a bartender at a local bar. <laughs> oh, this is honestly, this is how ISIS started. <laughs> you know, it's people that felt emboldened by a group chat. Yeah, Osama bin Laden, a WhatsApp group chat. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, Al Man Al Zawari. Divisions um, in the group chat started yes. the Taliban and ISIS. Yes, Omar al Baghdadi started sending out like he started standing up the U.S. on dates and stuff. Yep. And then, you know, we, we all know what happened after that. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Kristen, for He pretended that. to be 40 virgins. <laughs> yeah, there are 40 virgins making fun of uh, Osama bin Laden's dick. Charlotte began to share videos of Coco and tell members of the group where Coco was and uh -oh. where Coco was going um, whenever she ran into Coco. She I like how the cat sat up. Was <laughs> yeah, the, the, the cat's like, I don't think Charlotte? I the Coco's like, you know what happens when people talk about Coco, right? <laughs> what are you yeah, doing? The cat's nervous. <laughs> You're going to get me docs, bitch. <laughs> she's going to call my mom. She's going to call, yeah, she's going to call you. I won't get any food because you'll be in jail. To explain why it was wrong and dangerous to send videos of her without her permission and tell people where she was at all times of the day and night. Especially considering this was a group of people who did not. All right, like do you guys her. want to go back to Coco losing her mind? Yes. Okay, let's. Absolutely. <laughs> I never heard yes faster. Here it goes. Oh my god. <laughs> let's see what this Bass? is. My stalker. She was taken to jail. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I call the Arlington PD and be like, Where are, you are you gonna tell me she's not drunk, dude? I know there's no yeah, chance. I mean, I she mean, sounds she's very, very up. drunk. Yeah. yeah. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> My uncle just texted me. He's like, you're a gangster. <laughs> go, go, Briscoe. Jenny BC. So go, go, dangerous. Go. Just hangs up. Go, go, Briscoe. <laughs> go, go, go. We'll show you ain't watch the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got her. <laughs> I'm in a drink slide. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Arlington BD, come arrest me. Come on, let's get it over with. Let's do this. <laughs> the fact that anyone would approve these restraining orders for my TikToks, you guys are so stupid. I honestly can't wait to be in handcuffs for making TikToks. She spent the day in jail. She was <laughs> 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 Damn, dude, that's really I knew hilarious. they were going to cut too. She was arrested. <laughs> that's good editing. That's good. This I think it might be so hilarious. funny if you dress up me and then man, TikToks. <laughs> Instead of handcuffs, she says TikToks. in the morning. <laughs> the cops came here and they, they put my arms in TikToks. The, the sun is up. Jump. The cops are on their way to work and they stop by. <laughs> when I was in jail, I met a date with this chick. <laughs> And she stood me up. She said she's gonna be in a block, a block five. I shut up a block five. She was in there, so I'm gonna go meet up with soccer guy on the phone. Like, Everyone in the yard had a gr a group note, a group kite about me. This podcast is not set for women because I'm starting to sound like Delia. Oh really, dude? And when it all goes, it all comes back to Kristen. <laughs> Her inhumane ways, which she shared about on TikTok. I was recently jailed for making TikToks, and here's what that experience was like. Four officers showed up at my home and arrested me with no shoes and no house keys. An officer offered to go back in and get my shoes and house keys, but I know in some states, if you allow them to go back into your home, they will search it. So I went barefoot. I asked them to leave my house Wait, unlocked. So that what do you think they'd find in Coco yeah, Briscoe's house? Like, why? But that's always, a bad, that's always a yeah. bad argument. I, what is, I have what nothing is. to hide. Yeah, like having nothing to hide, but it's like you just don't want cops checking your house. I wouldn't want cops checking yeah. my house either. I don't, I don't think I have them anything to hide. I'm rummaging around, but, yeah. but if it's like my keys are right there, I like what's the like yeah. wh how long was she in jail? Yeah, 45 years. <laughs> A day. I think she went a day. A day. Nel when, yeah. when she was in jail, Nelson Mandela wrote her a letter. <laughs> <laughs> I went to jail with no shoes. It fucking sucked, but Coco. I did it. Right. Cool. Like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> to be like, I don't have my house keys. It's like, well, somebody's obviously got to take care of that. <laughs> also, you just made a video of you rolling around in your fucking 20 pillows talking about, take me to jail for a tic yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've never been to jail with no shoes on, but I have been to flappers with shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> But I've used the bathroom. <laughs> it smells pretty bad. <laughs> All right. My neighbor could come and take care of my dog. They locked my door anyway. I did not resist arrest and I went calmly and willingly. However, these are the bruises on my wrist from the handcuffs yeah, being right. too tight. 
I is also a pinch nerve on detained. my left hand, and I have some numbness in my thumb from the handcuffs. Being I was also stabbed and, and shot and by the police. <laughs> this reminds me of you know those like Karen videos where like nothing happens and then they get on the ground and they're like, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you see the photo of my arm, it is broken in three places <laughs> and fell off. It so fell off. Yeah. I basically and then they had put to it back on it. themselves. They didn't even let me direct it. <laughs> I now have hepatitis C from this, <laughs> this so far. <laughs> oh. Jumpsuit. During the approximate five hours I was in jail, they did five not give me water, nor did they allow me to make a phone call. And they gave me HPV. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she was in jail for five hours. Yeah. <laughs> I was in jail for. It would be funny ever instead of saying five hours, she did however many minutes that is. Yeah. Like, 526. I'm so bad. <laughs> 420 right. minutes. Right. Oh 420. God. Oh my God, you guys. Speaking of which, <laughs> she starts drinking. Weed guy. Yeah, it's 420 somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, what? There was a phone in my jail cell and it did not work. And I continued to insist that they let me make a phone call. She was call. in the movie Black One phone. of the officers said, you don't get to make a phone call when you're in jail. You just watch too many movies. I continued to insist that they let me make a phone call. And one of the officers said, sure, I'll let you make a phone call. And he threw me in another jail cell that smelled like pee and vomit and was completely disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cops are bad, but yeah. that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, both both things can be true. <laughs> the cops may need not be that great. I love this. She's I want to like, make a phone call. All right, throw her in the piss one. <laughs> <laughs> throw in the one I just pissed and shit in. <laughs> also, she's like, there's a phone in here and it doesn't work. <laughs> the, hey, I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, of course the phone doesn't manager. work. What are you talking? You think there's a phone in jail <laughs> that you can just use? She's like, there's a phone in here. I can't even get the internet. <laughs> yeah. The Arlington County Police Department, anytime someone's like, I want to make a phone call, they're like, Jerry, throw him in the piss thing. <laughs> throw him in the piss one. Another phone call. It's so hilarious. Wait until they get in. You piss see her face. It smells like piss because we piss in it. We piss all over this. I thing. asked them if I could make TikToks. They sent me to Guantanamo. <laughs> yeah. I was waterboarded. <laughs> <laughs> they put that thing on my head. <laughs> yeah. The Fairfax Police Department waterboarded Coco Briscoe. That I must just not have known how to use the phone. The only toilet paper that was there to use was crumpled up and filthy. At one point, the officers were gathered around each other watching videos on their- I had to shit four times. <laughs> I hope this isn't really what the jail is like. That's bad. I mean, it sounds then a lot like- Maybe that's the prison there industrial complex. There was no toilet complex. paper when you went there? No. Fuck, dude. That's the prison industrial complex. We compliment. really need to fix that. That's another episode. I'm yeah. not equipped to handle it, but all that stuff is wrong. 10 minutes of prison talk. <laughs> There's got to be yeah. toilet paper. Eh? When you take, when you take a shit, what are you supposed to do? 10 minutes of exposing the U.S. government. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's not It's not prison. It's jail. So you're just there. For, you're in the drug You're tank. only there for a little while. Oh, and should have toilet paper. You should have socks and shoes, too, but they don't yeah. care. They yeah. just don't care. That's fucked up. Yeah. That's the whole point. Like, that's why it is... She's coming from this place where she's like so privileged that she's yeah. like, "Wow, jail is bad." Yeah, yeah. which is what like where I—that's where I would be. Too. <laughs> that is where I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is all opening up a world to hey, me. Hey, Coco, you and Brendan have more in common than you think. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. Come on the show. We'll talk it out. Maybe we're friends. We'll have a couple Jaeger bombs. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic too, so we have—we already have that in common. So. <laughs> Phone and laughing, and I do believe that these were my TikToks that they were watching. It was the most dehumanizing experience of my life, and zero out of ten, do not recommend. While she was in jail, a magistrate told her that the cops were watching her TikToks and laughing. <laughs> 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 That's kind they were of like, oh, yeah, dude, our pee thing got on TV, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, Chef Guy stood her up, dude. <laughs> Let's arrest Chef Guy, too, dude. <laughs> That'd be so funny if we put them in the cell next to each other. One of the cops is like, hey, man, maybe we should start putting toilet paper in the cell. So, Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> you fucking idiot. This is hilarious. Go piss in cell four. Yeah, they, go piss in John's mouth. Okay, I have a question. Do you guys think that the cops were watching her TikToks? Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. They're probably laughing their asses off. <laughs> I'm like, not. is she delusional and she's imagining that? Well, no, I think both yeah, things probably. could be true. She's delusional. Right. I feel like she's peppering in little things that will make the story worse. Right. And telling you true things that also happened. Yeah. And I think in my perfect world, the cops were watching her TikToks because that's hilarious. Yeah, I would. If I was a cop and I had arrested her and she was complaining about not having shoes and the jail smell cell cell smelled, I would immediately go to her TikTok. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, Julia Fox replied. Yeah, well, Julia, Julia Fox, Fox replied, replied to, to one of her story. 
Julia Fox was like, get him, girl. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't that crazy? That is w- crazy. And what's even crazier is she didn't even like it. <laughs> Whoa, that's baller. Yeah. Not to like a celebrity's fucking, wow. Flexing on Julia Fox. God, damn, that's crazy. But lady, know. she was the inspiration for Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. <laughs> <laughs> That she could go to prison if she continued to violate the restraining orders that were being issued against her. After she was released from jail, a judge would dismiss the restraining orders because they were unconstitutional, obviously, because of the First Amendment. When was we this have the made? right to free speech. And so oh, there are very is, rare cases. This is a year old video, oh, so it's yeah. not even updated. Oh, okay. Damn. This is a time capsule in the Coco Briscoe saga. Yeah, for real. Okay. Well, we covered a lot. I think yeah, um, I got, I'm happier now than I was before we started. We learned this. a yeah, lot. Me too. I feel this, like this video really ramped things up a little bit. If yeah. people like this, then maybe we'll do another Coco thing. I don't know, but this was I pretty think good. We will. <laughs> yeah, if I had to predict, I probably, I mean, once she cancels I'll, us. I'm glad they come back. Yeah, we may have Annie Letterman back on the pod. <laughs> so we'll do oh, our favorite know. segments. Checking, Checking in, in with Scott. Scott. Checking, Checking in, in with Scott. Scott. Scott Lurs. Are you pulling it out? Oh, you're pulling it out. Yeah. Uh, what about this one? Sure. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That was last week's. Wait, what is that chatterbox? Let's oh, this is, a, it's like a thing he got. It says, hi, Scott. Your experience at Chatterbox Comedy Night could make you a good fit for my retail grocery merchandise or paid <laughs> training. No nicer weekends opportunity. If you're interested, please submit a quick application. <laughs> and he has, I'm interested, highlighted. <laughs> pretty funny, pretty funny bit there, Scott. Yeah. But hey, you're doing better than that. You can, uh, Checking in with Married America. Scott is different, dude. It's different. different. <laughs> All right. Uh, and our last segment uh, that everybody loves is, is Heather, Heather okay. okay? Is, is Heather, Heather okay? okay. What it. do you think, Caitlin? <laughs> Pro- uh, probably not, right? Probably not. I want to <laughs> say yes. I'm an ally to women. Yeah, well, this women, is not a, a safe lot of place. women are being not attacked on both sides here. Or Heather. <laughs> when you're 35, every hangover you have can be best described as feeling like Nicola- Nicolas Cage and leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty dark movie, Heather, to compare yourself to. <laughs> like. Uh, come on now. You're doing better than that, Heather. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to take a piss, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, King Gar was mentioned already on the pod, but we didn't. We have a guest. So, Caitlin, yeah. who is who is your least favorite comedian <laughs> in Los Angeles, do you think? Ken Gar. Damn. Hey, <laughs> try, I told her not to do that, Ken. She yeah. did anyways. All right. Thanks, for, thanks, Caitlin, for coming on. Thanks again to Brennan Walsh, World Record Pod, for supplying more wardrobe. And have a great week. Bye.